what, what, how do you respond to litigants, individuals, that challenge a policy and a manifesto position canvassed among the citizens of Kenya, voted by the people of Kenya, and how do we use the place of manifesto to remove politics of personalities and instead try to, you know, consolidate the place of politics that is around a program, a policy, an agenda. How does the court help us to consolidate the place of getting away politics from being about personalities or sometimes even about ethnicity and taking it to the realm of issues, policies, programs, and how do we work together to make sure that we consolidate the place of a development trajectory, a program, a national program, backstopped by the people of Kenya through an election and rolled out by an elected government. And sometimes, as uh, was said again by my younger brother Sakaja, if you have a program canvassed by a political party, a government, being rolled out. And sometimes it's not very, it's not, a, it's not populist. Sometimes, you know, as politicians, you have to balance between being popular and doing the right thing. Sometimes they are not, they don't go together. And then you sacrifice your political capital to do the right thing. But then the court on the other side decides to be popular and undermine uh, the, 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 the agenda that you have. And, and allow me, Madam Chief Justice, you know, to, to appear before you on this matter. <laughs> <laughs> and I hope I am not abusing the court process, you know. On this matter, you know, I'm just trying to, uh, in, a, in a very simple way, to put my thoughts across so that, you know, maybe the court can apply its mind to it and help us, you know, chart this course as, as Kenyans. Because uh, it's me today, it's somebody else tomorrow, it's the next person the next day. And we all must uh, think about this. So that particular matter is, is sometimes uh, is a matter that, uh, that, uh, that, that informs some of the things that we do. And I, I am a layman, but we're told that the court also makes decisions. In, sometimes they have to factor in public interest. Where does public interest, populism, playing to the gallery, where is that? You know, how, how, do we, how do we nuance it so that it is managed properly and uh, we, don't, we, don't drop the, we don't drop the poll? So th this is uh, just thoughts, uh, and, I'm, I'm, and I'm really happy that uh, uh, Madam Chief Justice has, 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 has said it clearly that we, we, need to, we need to consult more, you know, as uh, institutions. What has become clear during the course of constitutional implementation and in the life of the Supreme Court is that notwithstanding the, people, the principle of separation of powers and the need for checks and balances, cooperation between organs of government and among state institutions is necessary, is also desirable, and this is for the promotion of national interest and constitutionalism. 
And that brings me again to the matter that was canvassed by my deputy here. Um, and um, my sister Njoki um, spoke to it and said, we need independence, we need to avoid overreach and interference. You know? Overreach and interference, you know, that kind of thing. Now, um, we must be careful as uh, the executive to avoid overreach and interference. Because we always talk about judicial independence. And it's a fundamental principle of our constitution. And there is a remedy for executive overreach. Because the judiciary will do something about it. But what happens when we have judicial overreach and judicial, independence, uh, judicial interference? Who, who will help us to, to resolve it? You know? I, I know this, <laughs> this, this uh, and I'm not, I hope I'm not making difficult things here. I'm just asking myself as a layman, and maybe they, they I now have a good uh, deputy, a professor. Maybe he'll help educate me when we have some time. <laughs> but again, I would, um, I would really want to ask ourselves, and uh, so that as we restrain ourselves as the executive, not to interfere, not to overreach on matters that are in the purview of the judiciary, or other arms of government for that matter. I think there is an equally very high responsibility on the part of the judiciary to restrain itself, and I think the Chief Justice here said so, to restrain itself on matters that are in the purview of other arms of government, so that we can have um, the committee of working together and uh, the interdependence while respecting our, um, our independence or the independence of other arms of government. Um, such moments are rare, you know, when, when you have the, the ears of the judiciary. <clears throat> um, I think I have said the, the three things that I really wanted just as a citizen to, you know, juggle the minds of our judicial leaders and judicial officers um, so, so that we can, we, can, uh, we, we can work together in, in this space. <clears throat> Effective collaboration, this is what I'm talking about, in the national interest. And you had my deputy say, you know, there is public interest, which sometimes is about maybe what the social media has said. What, has, what, social, does, what the social media has said, is it public interest? What is it? You know, we, we need to, there must be a balance. And then there is national interest. These are propositions that we need to think about so that the uh, we can carry it along in our jurisprudence and uh, also in our life as a nation. No single institution or organ is entire of itself or viable in isolation. I'm encouraged by the increased confidence with which various arms of government are exploring areas of partnership and collaboration and by so doing, we are breaking long-standing barriers to unlock the power of institutional synergy. There's a lot that we can achieve through institutional synergy. 
finding ways that we can uh, make all the institutions work. And I agree with the Chief Justice that we must build strong institutions that can withstand even weaknesses of individuals. That in, uh, sometimes, uh, um, because we are human, sometimes in, individuals may um, be weak, but if you have strong institutions, they can even carry 